That thing's shot. Well, gang, 95K miles on the truck, and I need a new drag link. Lucky for me, I've got this Synergy bar. So it's time to upgrade the steering on this thing, and take care of some maintenance, because we're almost to 100,000 miles. What's going on, gang? Mike Key with Off-Road Trex. You know what? 95,000 miles. I can't believe we put that much on this truck. My wife and I bought this truck uh, kind of used, kind of new, back in March of 2016. It didn't have that many miles on it. It was a dealer courtesy vehicle, and we proceeded to tow our Airstream and drive all over the country with it. And since then, we've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of overlanding, a lot of trips to Moab, off-roading, just punishing this truck. If you've seen my jump, yeah, a lot of punishment. So, we're getting up there in miles. It's time to take care of some things, some basic maintenance stuff. One of the things that's going on, my drag link, it's shot. It needs replaced. And I'm probably going to replace the tie rod too. I've got Synergy's HD steering upgrade, so that is going to be going on the truck today. And there's a few other little maintenance items I want to take care of. You know, we're almost at 100,000 miles, so it's probably time to change the spark plugs. So I'm going to take care of that this weekend. The other thing that I'm going to do is I've got a new battery, an Odyssey battery. I'm going to get that installed because, well, it's the original battery, five years. That's a long time, and batteries do wear out. And now that it's winter, it's starting to get cold out, and one of the things that's happening is I start the truck, and it's a little hesitant. It's like, <laughs> so I don't want that battery to strand me somewhere, so we're going to replace that battery with a brand new one. And the first thing we got to do, though, is get this drag link off. And by the way, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Stick around to the end, because i got some exciting news to tell you about things that are coming up, some things that are going to happen to this truck and a little trip that I'm gonna take. And by the way, how many miles are on your truck? Comment down below. Let's get to it, guys. So the first thing I did that I didn't film is I took off the passenger side wheel, then I went and grabbed my 21 millimeter wrench and started unbolting the drag link. This is gonna be a little loud. So this is the problem. I've been having with this. It should pop right out, but mine, it's not coming out. Alright, so we got that on there, now we're just going to hit it with the impact and hopefully we can get the drag link off the pitman arm. And so this is where the fun really begins and just for the sake of time we're going to fast forward to the real struggle. be working. I'm not 100% sure. This thing. Well, let's give it a couple whacks. I'm getting really frustrated. Uh, I've been beating on it. Uh, I've got the pickle fork on it. I've hammered it, and I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm gonna have to cut that thing off because that is not something I want to do. I don't want to be breaking out my cutoff wheel and trying to cut that freaking thing off. So what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a break. I'm gonna drown that thing in PB Blaster, and then I'm gonna come back and try again. Hopefully, this time, we'll be lucky. Fingers crossed. Okay. 
two hours later. All right, we're gonna give this one more shot. Here we go. Would you just please come off? Really nice. for a drink. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I am relieved. I was worried that I was going to have to cut that thing. That would not be fun at all. So, I think that's deserving of a drink. We have earned it. This car going by every minute. And I have to leave my garage door open because my truck doesn't fit. Here's to getting that off. That's perfect. Two very boring minutes later. Alright, it's time to get this thing installed on the truck. The install is really straightforward, and after I got that done, I went and straightened my steering wheel, I had to take it around the block a couple times, did a bit of a driveway alignment. Guys, this looks great, feels great, and I can't wait to test this out on some trails. Well guys, this project is complete. Got the Synergy. Drag link installed, got the tire rod installed, went over to four wheel parts, got everything aligned. Truck rides a lot better now. And I've got a trip coming up in which I'm really gonna get to test this out and uh, see how it feels. You know, I was getting up there in mileage, so it might just be that the you know components were worn on my old system, but I'm hoping that this is gonna do a lot better. I know it will perform better in Moab and be a lot stronger. Like I said, I uh, had a good friend, John, he put this on his truck and literally dropped the whole truck down on that Synergy tie rod. Thing did not bend at all. So this is definitely a mod that I'm looking forward to testing out and probably slamming into some rocks if I'm honest. So guys, about that trip that's coming up and some other things that I'm gonna be doing to the truck, let's head over to my workbench, I wanna tell you about it. <sighs> guys. I am glad to be done with that drag link. I spent entirely too long getting the old one off this weekend. I didn't get to everything I wanted to do, but hey, it is what it is and it's taken care of. Got the alignment done, everything's good to go. So I feel pretty confident in taking my road trip that I'm gonna be taking this weekend. And what is that you might ask? Well, I'm heading out to Portland, Oregon to meet up with my good friend, Marcus Detloff. Now, if you don't know, Marcus is the owner of Detloff Manufacturing. He specializes in making performance accessories for the Ram platform. The guy knows these trucks inside and out. And one of the cool things that he has now that I'm really looking forward to getting onto my truck is a hydro assist kit from PSC. Now Marcus makes special adapters uh, as part of this kit so that if you have a factory tie rod, you can just bolt that sucker right up. Now I've got a Synergy tie rod, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but we will get that all sorted. The other thing we're gonna be doing is a tire fitment guide video. That is going to be landing a little bit closer to the end of the month. But, you know, guys get these trucks and the first thing they do is hop on the forums or the Facebook groups and ask, hey, what size tire can I fit? What's the biggest tire I can fit? Do I need a lift? Do I need a level? What's offset? What's backspacing? Et cetera, et cetera. So we wanted to put together a little video guide just to explain everything in depth and take care of that question for folks. And speaking of tires, the other thing we're going to do, well, just to get right to the point. I ordered a set of BFG KM3s in size 39 by 1350 R17. That's right, 39s. Because 40s, ah, it's a little too much commitment for me, guys. I'm not ready to bust out the Sawzall and hack up my truck and shove AEV flares on there. I wanna see what the biggest tire is that we can actually fit with minimal modification. So, no cutting up the truck. Zero. Don't wanna do it. Not gonna happen. Now, is that gonna fit? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I might have just blown a bunch of money. I mean, it's $435 a tire. I mean, whew, it was a lot of money. Anyways, guys, 
we want to find out if we can fit those tires. So that is what's coming up in the next video after this one. We're going to see if those will fit. If they do fit, then heck yeah, man, party time. We're going to tell the internet to shove it because most people say it's not going to work. Hey, let me know down in the comments. Do you think we can fit 39s? I don't know. We're going to find out though. So that is what I am doing this weekend. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is power wagons in Moab. And I know I'm rambling a little bit. I apologize for that. We have 80 slots this year for Power Wagons in Moab. We launched our registration on Black Friday. Now, we've had 62 people register for the event and they're already paid. So if you are on the fence about Power Wagons in Moab, you need to go to the website, powerwagonsinmoab.com, read the description and register today because chances are those slots are gonna to continue to fill up pretty quickly, especially now as we're getting closer to the event. Again, the event dates are May 4th to the 8th. Every year in Moab, it's a good time. Look, just get off the fence, go register. You're gonna have fun. We'd love to have you out. It is always a blast. We've got a lot of special stuff in store this year. We got some new sponsors. Everything is just gonna be awesome, guys. It's always a good time. And if you're out there, come up to me, say hello, introduce yourself. You know, I try to make it around, but as the event has grown, it's hard to get out there and say hello to everybody. So please, if I don't say hello to you, come up to me, okay? And just introduce yourself. Anyways, guys, I apologize for the rambling. I know this isn't one of my better videos, uh, but if you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. If you're new to off-road treks, well, we'd love to have you as part of the community. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. This way you'll know when that tire video is coming and all additional videos. The goal this year is two videos a month. So, awkward pause right there, but I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Anyways, guys, this is the end of this video. If you're still watching and you made it this far, well, congratulations, you get a gold star. Anyways, guys, for Off-Road Treks, I'm Mike Key. Until next time, I'm just gonna walk out of frame.